Hi guys, I've decided to do another video. I've talked about this one for quite a while now. It's called Interview Tips. I've got Bella here, so just uh, excuse the noises. I am not feeling great. I'm not looking great. I'm limping on one leg. So let's just get straight to it. I decided to make this video because I feel like there's so many people getting back into work. There's still some people who haven't got into work maybe after studies or after losing a previous job. So here's just a couple of tips, reminders. I haven't had to do an interview in uh, maybe five years, so maybe I'm a bit rusty, but these tips worked for me, so I just wanted to share them. End of intro. Okay, so smiling goes a long way. Not a proud smile, like, like, how do you do a proud smile, okay? But a genuine, happy smile. Your body language makes up for a large amount of your first impression. Always shake the interviewer's hands when you come in and when you leave. So when you go in, you say, nice to meet you, and make sure you catch their name as well. It's very important to get their name. And with their name, make sure you slip it in if you can during the interview. And then when you go, remember to shake their hand and say, thank you for seeing me. Um, and say their name. So um, basic manners and politeness can really enhance the overall impression that you leave with your potential employer. So just um, thank you or <laughs> or um, I don't even know if you need to say please, thank you or you're welcome in an interview. It's more like just being polite and not sounding rude. Body language, do's and don'ts. Never cross your arms like this. Oh. Can you give them an example? Crossing your arms. <laughs> and don't be on your phone like like this when you're in an interview, obviously. That's but my phone. Don't you cross your arms. Me. Yeah. Because it gives a really bad, negative, and uninterested impression. Yeah. Don't cross your legs as well. If you don't have a table, for example, you need to have this kind of opened. Um, what do you call it? Your body language should be like open, not crossed, uh, because then it means you're. You're not yourself, kind of, and they want to be able to trust you when they talk to you, meaning your employer. Next is keep a healthy amount of eye contact when you speak and listen. Too much might be a little creepy, you know what I mean? Too much, like not even blinking kind of thing. Um, and too little shows lack of confidence and not very trustworthy. I mean, it's, it's normal to be nervous. Um, but you kind of just have to get over it within the first minute of introducing yourself and you just have to think, I need to showcase everything that I am. What a lovely sunny day. <sighs> Mommy. What a lovely sunny day. Isn't it beautiful, Mummy? Not really, it's a bit cloudy. Thanks for the weather update though. Don't tap your fingers in your feet. Try to make sounds only with your mouth when you're talking to them so you know when they're talking don't be like tapping a, a pen or your foot it's that's just part of manners as well it's also showing that you're uh, you have a low attention span and you're not concentrating possibly even though some people concentrate more by tapping things keep control of the movements of your hands when speaking because pointing can be intimidating so you're going to be my employer my employer, what would you pay me? <laughs> don't do that, basically. <laughs> Mentally, do's and don'ts. Do research the company on their website, for example, as they may ask you if you checked out their website, if you did a bit of background history to see what they're about. And you don't want to kind of just say, yeah, I did, when you didn't. And it's just like, come on, let's be honest. You could say, um, I didn't, but yeah, that wouldn't work either if you just freeze. So, um, try to consider how your experience and your knowledge can help the company. Because I feel like too few people think about what the employer thinks about the, not the victim, the person being interviewed, so you. So you need to think more about what the employer is actually looking for. So typical errors are we kind of think about ourselves too much when it comes to the interview. I mean, obviously, you want to think, how am I going to be seen? But that's looking from another person's view, which is more important. So sometimes you're thinking too much about how do I look? What, do, what should I wear? Is my hair all right? Um, how many interviews will be there? 
is it a group interview? Should I eat before going in? I mean, sometimes you don't just get one interviewer, but don't let that put you off. It's probably just an uh, important space or the person needs a bit of guidance and needs someone else there. In terms of how you look, let me just quickly say, if you have something quite basic, you're, if you're a, for a girl, you shouldn't wear something like a bright lipstick. Just have no eyeshadow if possible, otherwise a very neutral one and not glittery. If you have quite a tired face like mine, put some foundation on or just BB cream. Something light that's not obvious that she's made such an effort to uh, do her makeup basically because it gives us this impression that you're high maintenance, in my opinion. So um, the same with nails, keep them bare. Um, clear is obviously good. If you have white tips, it's even better. It looks neat. And then it's becoming a makeup video. So yeah, not, not too bright on the lips. So not too like dark, like dark purple or whatever. Just keep it quite neutral, simple, touch of pink. Um, go easy on the blush, bronzer, whatever. I've done top and bottom eyeliner quite lightly with coal eye pencil. If you can, try and make sure you've done your eyebrows as well because it just looks a bit neater. Oh yeah, and also about your hair, look how frizzy that's gone and like bushy and fried or whatever you call it. I would straighten that to make it um, neater. So if you have hair like this, the going the extra mile would just to make it all nice and sleek, not greasy um, and not too frizzy if possible. Just to make sure that the attention doesn't go on your hair, it doesn't go on your nails, on your makeup, but it just goes on the person inside, so what you say. Um, you just need to make sure you deliver what you are in an effective and uh, a non-distracting way where it's just two people or however many people talking to each other and no distractions. <laughs> um, so that's why I brought up hair, makeup, nails, um, yeah. And outfit wise, try and keep it single, single, simple, black and white. This dress I'm wearing is way too inappropriate. It's got hearts on it and it's just too much detail going on. Keep it um, simple. If you want stripes, it's fine. Um, not too many colours. The employer wants to be looking just at the person. Um, they'll judge you within like a second of how you look, how you, if you shake, if you shook their hand, if you say general things like, um, like nice, if you're nice about it, like hi I'm Rachel, um, thank you for seeing me kind of thing. Little things like that is good, really good. Uh, it shows assertiveness, it shows, it shows potential for not even the job that you applied for, it gives the employer a chance to think, oh this person could actually be suitable for an even better role. So you never know when you're going into an interview what your employer is going to think. All you can do is present the very best. Keep everything nice and simple in terms of how you look. You need to remember the person you're about to sell yourself to is looking to employ a person to help them. They want to hear about you and what you're into to get a feel of whether you are suitable for the role and whether your personality, your character will suit the environment that you're about to be accepted into. And although you'll have no idea what you're actually agreeing to, you don't know what the office is like or wherever you're going to be stationed, you don't know what your employer is like or your colleagues or like details of anything, but what you need to do is be so confident to convince your employer that you are right for this position. Believe it and then they will believe it and keep smiling throughout. Um, obviously if it's a serious topic like something sad then don't smile, that would be ridiculous. Don't speak extra information unless you were asked it or unless you really feel like they need to know this but you don't want to be a desperado person because um, it reflects onto how you're going to be in the um, in the position as well. You want to have this assertive role, you want to tell them that you're hard working if you are and that you're flexible. Think about it, imagine you've got your own business or whatever. You want people who you can rely on, who are punctual, who are committed to the job, they won't just quit. People who've got a good track record really helps because it really speaks volume so hopefully your CV's all like good and you've got it checked out or you've got someone to help you with it because you want to showcase your best bits but you also need to show stuff that's relevant 
even if it's not so great. Experience worked in my hand, I, I had a lot of jobs. My very first job was um, a referral from a good friend of mine from sixth form. So that was like one of those like, I need a job and I'm so grateful for it. Then my second job was I enrolled through um, an agency read. I think it was online and they called me in. I did one of those Word and Excel tests. I did pretty good or pretty average, which was good for what they thought that I was capable of. That's why I liked the agency because then they will help you, I believe. This was like years ago, like I say, and you don't have to kind of do it on your own. They give you advice on how to do whatever. The recruitment advisor, I remember overhearing her saying to um, her colleague, um, should I put her through to this job? She's not got experience, but I think she can do it. And hearing that, I was like, oh wow, that means it's something I'm not really suitable for, but I have potential for. So I'm really grateful that I got that job. It was a call center job. Um, it was only for about five weeks, but it was for a really good company. So it just set the limit really high for me, even though it was just call center work. But for someone who was only an A-level student, who had just finished A-levels and attempted and dropped out of uni, it was really good. And then I did a few more call center jobs and then it, one became an admin job, um, so which was a promotion after nine months from the call center, which was really cool. And then I just got into admin from then on. Um, admin has been my strong point and I really enjoyed it. Well, and then I got married and had a baby and then I'm just kind of like, okay, I don't know what to do now. I'm just waiting for Bella to go to school and uh, that's the life of me right now. So I really hope that this whole video, however long it is, has given you enough tips and enough encouragement and positive vibes to um, help you get on your way to nailing that interview and getting a job or into getting into your career or whatever it may be. Don't shy away from interviews and like don't depend on family and friends. If you can do it yourself, if I could do it myself, I was one of the most dependent people in the world. If I can do it, come on, you can. Just push yourself. I have been on job seekers allowance actually. What do you call it? Job yeah, I w I've been to the job center. Yeah, if you have any more questions about interviews or jobs, working, whatever, leave me a comment. I barely get comments, so so <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because um, then I know to make more like this. I haven't done a video like this in a long time, so I hope that things work out for you or if you have a friend who needs help, then maybe you can share some of this uh, information. And any more questions, leave a comment below and I'll be glad to answer them. Thanks for watching. Okay, all the best. Bye. If you do a little alarm, I'm just rambling now. That was just such a weird phase. Didn't understand it at all. Um.